the way I teach this is that, you know, the Bible says, for God knows the end from the beginning and he knows what is yet to come. The yet to come means yet to unfold. And that um, all of us are unfolding. And it's very important that we don't try to direct God how to unfold us in the days to come and the years to come, because maybe he has something that is a lot better for us. And so mm -hmm. I'm really into my unfolding. I'm into my assignments. Yeah. I don't chase anything. Mm -hmm. I just truly really want Good. to do my assignments. And yeah. if my assignments are considered big by some or medium by some, either way, I'm good. I want to do the God idea assignments. That's what I do. That's powerful. And I think it, th that really means we have to stop comparing ourselves to what somebody over here is doing or this guy over here and start saying, okay, God, what's my lane? Start asking him and leaning in to the, the hard stuff, investing in loving ourselves enough to do the hard work and to say, okay, if this is the vision and the goal that God has placed in me, and these are my gifts, what am I doing with them? So, you know, let's talk about how we get out of the, those, the funk mindset where, you know, we're just kind of spiraling and we feel like we're not going anywhere and we need a miracle, but yeah. you know, what does it take? What are the baby steps even? Yeah, I, I have I have an answer. I think that we learn three primary ways: education, conversation, and observation. So, one of the things that's working in your show, like we're doing today, is that we are educating people. Yeah. Secondly, they can learn from the conversation, and I mean this: sometimes we're one conversation away from a brilliant life. If, if you were to look back, Brenda, of so many amazing conversations you've had since your childhood, there are a few that just stand out where you go like, that was a game mm -hmm. changer. Mm -hmm. I remember one night I was with the great Tony Curtis, who was an actor, and we started eating dinner together like once a month. And, you know, because I was already friends with Charlton Heston, who I think your family knows as well. But I was friends with Charlton. I was friends with Jack Lemmon, Walter Matthau. And, but Tony Curtis and I were talking one time, and he was talking about fame. Mm -hmm. And he, he just said, Tim, even with making those movies with Marilyn Monroe and all those things I did, he said, the thing I always desired was just peace. I just wanted to be at peace. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to like myself. Yeah. So that was a conversation that, that, that touched me. So we learned education, conversation. Last one, observation. I am a pro at watching people and looking for their good. Not, not watching them and looking for what's challenging about them. I observe and then I want to emulate people in, in things that I see, that mm -hmm. I like. Whether mm -hmm. it's their style, are their manner? Are there good listeners? And so I think one way to break out of the funk is re-educate yourself. That's good. Secondly, get involved in better conversations. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, start observing people that are living a life that is a miracle mentality type of life.